All right, friends, it's time. Let's jump back into uh, Princess Peach Showtime and knock out this next level, the case of the missing mural. It's Abdallah here. Hi, how are you? Okay, ready? It's showtime. The case of the missing mural. What transformation do you think we're going to get in this one? We need to remember that there's a ribbon somewhere too. It's not just the 10 things. Okay, let's look around. Everyone here looks so scared, but why? The detective here always solves mysteries and keeps pe people feeling safe. Come on. So bad. This? That, why? What are you talking about? Oh my gosh. <laughs> no way it was right here at the very, the first scene. Oh my gosh, this thing is crazy. Yeah, that's it, huh? Oh, uh, ribbon guy, huh? Yeah, you must be so smug hiding in this little alleyway over here. All right, no worries, we got the ribbon. Um, okay, so interesting. So at the very beginning of the map, before you get a single gem, you come right over here and you grab it. Cool, like, let's continue on. Leave me be. There's no way you would've gone through there. Dude, that's the background. I don't know, I got burnt so many times by going into backgrounds and only finding out that it's um, invisible walls. So I stopped looking, right? Like you would expect to go in that alleyway right there, right? And that there's going to be something hidden over here. But alas, there's not. So the game kind of fools you a little bit, right? Like, look, you think you could go in there, but no, you cannot. So I think like, all right, fine, background's background. Like, I hate getting burnt that way. All right, where could the police be? I saw you help them out. You're incredible. I can pitch in too. It's just, it's just weirdly inconsistent. And where you can go, like, what's this? Why are these two things here? If I can't go through them like I did before, why are they highlighted in like white stroke like that? It's just really interesting to me. I mean, I'm a, I'm a real detective when it comes down to it. Anyway, there's been a threat and I'll be taking point into looking into it. Oh, no, you won't. A junior detective like you can't handle this. You better just head home, kid. Guess it's no use. All right, sorry, kid, you get rejected. All right, I can't do this on my own. Well, luckily, I'm gonna give you the bravery that you need. You won't give up yet. He just needs a new plan. Will you come with me? Yeah, sure, I got you, kid. We're gonna play detective. And this guy just came out of nowhere. Give me three coins. This looks like a spot where I can do a little thing, but of course not. You can't go over here. I'm getting burnt thinking I can. I'm thinking you could jump over this thing. You can't. It's just, it's weirdly inconsistent. Nine times out of 10, you can't go places. And then the 10% chance when I don't look over there, that's where it is. Oh, okay, I see how it is. All right, we're gonna figure this out. It's like a little puzzle on the wall. And uh, we're just gonna sparkle eyes, everything like that. Cool, nice and easy. Okay, what number is that? Three. Okay. Um, now what? We, we just move forward? So speaking of... I love those boots. Detective Peach, on the case. On the case of the missing gems and ribbons throughout the level, here we go. Free health upgrade, okay. Oh, do I go back out? Oh, look at me, the first time in the game I can go backwards. Wait, where did the junior detective go? I don't know, it's a floating orange orb. 
Those are some fluffy cushions. Strike of intuition? A bolt of brilliance! A strike of intuition. Really? What's that in the bookcase? What are the controls? I'm sorry, what am I doing? Hold B to investigate, release B. Okay. Uh, all these documents are about solved cases. I shouldn't read them without permission. Wait, wait, no, 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 no. Let's read them. This is such a weird concept. Aha, uh -huh, they're books. Be careful, you'll lose hearts if you guess wrong with your strike of intuition. But since we're practicing in this office, you won't lose hearts if you guess wrong. What am I guessing towards? Oh, there's a note on the floor. Let's see here. I wasn't guessing towards anything. If you're a true detective, you'll find me, Junior. You just found this kid. Amazing. Nothing gets past you, detective. Uh, you really can detect things with your strike of intuition. <laughs> now, come on. A mystery awaits us. Let's go. Okay, I mean, is there not anything else kind of hidden over here? Nope. Now that's a lot of mystery novels. Uh-huh. Who would have guessed there would be a secret door here? Uh, okay, fine. This is just, this is just interesting. This looks like there's a strike of intuition right here. Yeah, I knew there would be something right there. Indeed. What? Okay, there's clearly something right there. There's a big wooden crate. I wonder what's inside. Well, I'm gonna strike of intuition it. Anything else? Dude, I'm already playing Detective Peach. Like, that's been the entire series so far. Playing Detective and trying to find these obscure, hidden things. It's interesting. All right, moving on. All right, obtained. Here we go. Oh, what do you got? What do you have to say to your, for yourself? You got something here? Where, where, what are we doing? I'm just gonna, yeah, I'm gonna walk in. I'm the new detective here. Oh, it's, uh, it's a detective. Please go on inside. I don't have to show any credentials. Because I'm older, they just assume I'm okay. Detective, you came. And you're just in time. The curator is waiting in the room next door. Okay. I'm gonna look at this stuff. A shellfish fossil that was discovered nearby. This area was submerged in lo water long ago. Okay. Like, who cares? It's a stone slate carved with ancient text, maybe the oldest example of the written word. But why? We're in a museum. The officer won't let anyone leave. I wonder what's, what's going on. Move! I'm trying to get a bolt of brilliance by looking at this thing. It's Rosetta Stone. It's a relief of a sparkle gem. It seems they were valued by important people in the past, too. Oh, look at this. It's a fractured stone slab. They're restoring it bit by bit in order to make it legible. Okay, cool. Sparkle star. Oh, oh, what's this? I'm just a staff member. If you're looking for information, you should talk to the curator. I was hoping to see the mummies in the back room. I hope they open up. Oh, I hope they open up soon. The mummies are calling me. Why would the mummies call you? I've got this place under tight surveillance. Nothing escapes my notice. Nothing. Okay, kiddo. We should talk to the curator first. Interviews are the fountain of a good investigation. Nothing amiss here. Everything's locked down. I even made sure to tighten the latch on that window over there. Okay. Are you the curator? Okay, detective, you're here. Thank goodness. You see, a threatening note has been placed on the Thipota mural. It reads, we're coming for the Thipota mural. Consider yourselves warned. If something were to happen to our mural. Okay, what's this? A power outage? Great. What? And it's gone. And they graffitied the wall. The mural, it's gone. Please, you have to track down the culprits. 
Where do they go? Unbelievable. It was stolen the instant things went dark. How maddening. Well, that was terrifying. Okay, the damage makes it impossible to be sure, but this is believed to be a diagram of some ruins. Okay, so what? The windows? It's a locked window. Okay. It was so dark, the power went out. Please be patient. Who cares about the shellfish fossil? Oh, there's something moving. Yeah, wasn't it not crooked? Oh, there's a vent behind it. Hmm. Yeah, I don't remember that being crooked, and it was moving a little bit, so I guess that's cool. Okay, um, so what now? Okay, it's an air duct. Maybe the culprits use this. Let's see what's inside. Okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna crawl on in. Okay, I see a heart, I see a key, I see a treasure chest, I see a lot of things. Some glasses, a broken case. The display case is broken. The items on display here were the fan dangled masks of disguise. It says wearing one of these masks allows the wearer to alter their appearance. Of course, the culprits must be using these to disguise themselves. Okay. Okay, a treasure chest. Let's open it. Oh, cool. I mean, we're just stealing from a museum. Oh, a spades key. Maybe we can find a use for it. Yeah, I'll take it. How about this thing? No, no. It's not a thing. Oh, oh, you got some footprints on the ground. <laughs> All right. Mask of disguise. Okay, so... So there's going to be people that look like other people. I wasn't really paying attention to what the thieves look like. Oh my gosh. Oh, so there's a shining uh, sarcophagus over there. There's another key. Surely the culprits are in disguise. Let's collect clues and find them. Gosh. All right, here we go. Give me that key. Okay, diamonds key. What's this? Uh, it's a nose of truth. Anyone who smells of deceit will meet a terrible end. Okay, a nose of truth. Okay, how about you? Are you fake? When the lights went out, someone stole my popcorn. The nerve. Okay, you're the guy. Man, I gotta talk to everyone. One of the cameras. One of my precious cameras I sell here is missing. It was right before the power went out. Okay, so the thieves stole a camera. This is clearly a guy with a camera. I haven't seen anyone suspicious. Oh, why do you have a camera then? Maybe that's his own camera. There, this one also is a camera. There's popcorn on the ground. It's a popcorn. I wonder if someone dropped it. And there's footprints. What about you? No one's come or gone through here. Uh, that's a likely story. What about these guys? Why do they have popcorn? Statues of two great playwrights. Apparently they watched the play together over a single bag of popcorn. Uh, the statues of two great playwrights. Okay, got it. Why would there be footprints on the ground that showcase them? Like the, the footprints end right there. Why doesn't this one have popcorn? Statue of two great playwrights. Well, if there's only two great playwrights, why are there three of these things here? Oh gosh. You see that statue with the sunglasses? That one's the real deal. According to the scholar. Okay. Three statues? Why is there a new statue? There were only two before. Well, which one's fake? Oh, this one's fake because they shared one popcorn. So then they couldn't have two popcorns. So this one's a fake one. Strike of intuition. Oh my gosh, if I got that right. Oh, cool. How long was he going to be there for? Just a statue. Ah, that was one bag of popcorn too many. Excellent work, detective. There's one more thief remaining, but I'll be sure uh, you'll be sure to catch them. Thanks. Give, don't give me like a missing star from another thing. But that's fine if I miss the... Uh, it, oh my gosh. 
There's still a lot of things happening, so like, I don't even worry about that. We just did it a little out of order. Uh, what I mean, uh, nothing out of the ordinary here. He was sleeping. Obviously, there's something going on here. Why is there footprints on the sarcophagus this way? This keyhole looks like the spades key would fit right in. Okay, so use it. Oh, great. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, I mean. Perfect. Okay, how about this? I bet the diamonds key will fit. <laughs> Some young kid? What are you doing in here? Thank you for getting me out of there. I may not look it, but I'm actually an officer. Oh my gosh, someone attacked me, stole my uniform, and locked me in there. It was all black after that. Dude, someone legit knocked him out and locked him in there? All right, I'm gonna steal from the museum really quick, thanks. All right, well, you have a camera. So obviously one of the cops is fake. It's either the sleeping guy, it's either this guy with the glasses, or the guy with the camera, because the dude was missing a camera. I think it's this guy. I haven't seen anyone suspicious. You're suspicious! Where'd you get that camera from? Uh-huh. Cool. Yeah, this one's cute. So it was their clothes and camera that gave them away. Nice work. We've rounded them all up. Let's go speak with the museum curator. How many more of these stars do I need? Dude, I get super paranoid if I'm like missing two the stars and I get like the third one. But we just kind of, we worked it in a different order. We have one more left. Oh my gosh. Okay, where's the curator? You're not in here. We're gonna, we're gonna keep going. Tell the truth. Oh, interrogating him. Tell us where the mural is. We don't know nothing. Huh, as if we'd tell you how we hit it in the museum. Ah, so it's still in the museum then. Uh, I mean, I don't know nothing. If it isn't a detective, you've arrived at the perfect time. Thanks to you, we've got all the culprits in custody. However, we still don't know where the mural is. You'll have to find it. I don't know where a gigantic mural is. What the heck is this? Oh, well, I got the side doors open? Now the thieves have been captured, we're letting folks to the side door again. The culprits. The culprits drew on the wall so quickly, I guess that makes them artists, sort of. Side door? This is a side door. Is it not the side door? Dude, I knew this case wasn't closed yet. We have to uh, uh, hunt for clues and find out where the mural is. You know, whenever I'm stumped on a case, I find that fresh air is great for clearing my head. So let's go to the side door. Where'd you put it? The thieves refuse us to give us any more info. We've looked everywhere. Where could they have carried it off to? It's probably like outside, just chilling. Oh, my sweet mummies. Can I go in the back room now? Hooray, now I can see the mummies. Where's the back room? Hold on, where are you going, kid? Where are you going? Where are you going, dude? Oh, shoot. Detective, some, something tells me the mural isn't in the other room. <laughs> Hey man, he started running from me, so I had to chase him. Well, thank you for telling me that. It's so stuffy in here. Yeah, I mean, they keep on telling me to get fresh air, so can I just like walk out? The mirror is pretty big. I doubt they'd be able to fit through this door. Uh, could the culprits really carry off such a really big mural? There's no way the mural will fit through the air duct. It's way too big. Dude, what? The air duct we went through, I don't think it's beyond there. Where's the side door? Okay. I don't remember seeing a side door anywhere. I just don't know the geography of this room. Okay, let me look and see where where is a place that's gigantic that the mural could have gone off to. It's not the window, it's not this. Did I look at this at all? There's something written on the wall where the mural was hanging before. I mean, let's look at it. What? 
My, my, so the mural was here all along and it was never stolen? Yeah, you have my internal gratitude for everything that you've done for my museum. Oh, no, I was sure the plan was foolproof. What was the plan? We did it. Watching you unravel this mystery was truly inspiring. We, uh, you're a new great detective. And now the case is really closed. Okay, I mean, that wasn't too bad. Outside of the ribbon? <laughs> and that was actually kind of enjoyable. Outside of the ribbon, ribbon, that was kind of enjoyable. I liked unraveling that, but like it was a red herring. They were saying like, go outside, go outside, check out the side door, side door is now open. But like, what was the plan? They came up with a false wall to pretend to steal the mural? And just like cause havoc? When they weren't even trying to steal the mural at all? Like, where were they going with that? If that was a real play, I would have been so upset at that ending. I would have been like, what are you talking about? What was their plan in the beginning? What was the plan to begin with, man? All right, we're gonna steal a mural. We're gonna sneak on in. We got these, we're gonna steal the disguise things and, and we're just gonna like board up the mural, but not really steal it. But boss, I thought we were gonna steal the mural. No, 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 it's too big. It can't fit in through the side door. We can't fit it through the vents. We're just gonna make them think it was stolen. But why, boss? <laughs> tell, tell me. Uh, not a good play. This is probably one of the worst plays, but it was fun. Um, that one was cool. Uh, let's see. I have a boss battle happening right now, so I guess I'm gonna knock it out. All right, let's blast open this door with the power of sparkle. Can you give me some of the sparkle gems you collected? I'll take, yeah, I'll give you 15. I mean, I've been doing pretty well, so. Yeah, you know what? Um, I don't know, now that I kind of saw the detective one, that was actually kind of cool. I thought it was very clever that you had to like detect in the first, like whatever you thought was. And like, we talked to everyone and we deduced it ourselves. So you know what? Pat on the back. You guys are great. Wow. That was really cool. <laughs> it's just really interesting to think about. I mean, the plot doesn't have to make sense. Oh, who are you? Oh. Well, well, is it, uh, if it isn't the scared little rodents who have been scurrying to and fro about my theater. So what do you think of my productions? How have you been enjoying my terrifying show? All right, we need to talk about the ending of the detective show. But other than that, they've been pretty good. Huh. Uh, answer that later. A little bird told me that you have been kicking up some dust. I also heard you managed to save a sparkler. I went uh, to great pains to imprison. Your efforts are adorable, but saving one puny sparkler doesn't change anything. <laughs> Fang, entertain our pesky guests. Will you? I'd like to review their performance. What is that? A chain. Ooh, it's a snake. Light Fang. Cool. All right, let's analyze. Do I have to be Detective Peach to do this? Oh gosh. All right, so don't get spotted with the spotlight. I can jump up or I can go straight. Um, let me go up. I think up seems to be the better choice. Oh shoot. Yeah, no, that doesn't work. Okay, so as long as I don't get seen when I go up, but I'm just gonna go forward to say, oh, okay. Maybe we don't have to go up, but there's snakes coming. Okay. Oh, slow motion all the way back. All right, all right, I'm, I'm seeing, I'm picking up what you're putting down. Maybe I have to hit that thing. Oh, it stuns him. Okay, that's fair.
Fascinating. Okay, kind of cool. Oh, I got a Sparkle the Darkle. Alright, so this is just a boss battle. I got a Sparkle the Darkle probably three times. Oh, thanks for the recovery heart. Good, good, good. That's the apology heart where you're just kind of figuring out the gimmick. Staying behind the wall is okay. Go ahead and see me. That's great. I could just rehide behind the. Oh my gosh! Not cool. He, like, rewinds time? Fascinating. Do I need to use that to my advantage somehow? Okay, I'm gonna wait till he goes the other way, and I'm gonna just bolt through here. Okay, yeah, you just have to make it- oh gosh. Rewind time, what a gimmick. But what does it do? Stun him. Okay, Sparkle the Darkle. <laughs> Music's kind of fun. Okay, Apology Heart, thank you very much. And then this is the third phase of playing like Stealth Detective and Don't Fall Off kind of a deal. Okay, cool. Nope. Cool. Wow, this is like Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom stuff. Like recall. Man, come on, become original, dude. Give me something original. This game's borrowing from every series. This is like Tears of the Kingdom recall. What are you gonna do? Get shocked. What? Oof, did not see that tail at all. That was rough. Cool. I like that one. That one was kind of fun, using the walls in order to dodge everything. I think it was great. Why not? It wasn't really a boss battle. But I guess that's cool. We'll take it. So, Grape is the one responsible for all the trouble in our beautiful theater. <sighs> she and her motley bunch are ruining our plays. Gur, I won't stand for this. We can't allow them to do whatever they want to our beloved uh, theater. Let's restore the rest of the plays as quickly as we can. Okay, great. Love that. Uh, and then the last thing that we're going to do in order to knock out this floor, I guess we could do it on the next one. Yeah, yeah, is going to be a rehearsal. Um, yeah, we can do a rehearsal soon. Anyway, it's a great, it's a great stopping point. We had a lot of extra stuff over here. All right, cool. Well, uh, we're going to do the rehearsal. Then we're going to see what's going on on the third floor and just continue playing through the game. It's been great so far. Anyway, thanks so much for watching.